Well, we had a good night in Jasper last night. We stayed at the uh, Wabazoo Campground, Wabaso Campground. Today is gonna be a quick short day. We're going to Edmonton, about four hours from here, and we are going to be changing the tires on our motorcycles. So we're going from street touring tires that we have, and we're gonna be putting off-road, on-road tires to facilitate the rest of the journey. So yesterday, we left Banff, and we went about 300 kilometers <laughs> to Jasper. It was a very short riding day, but it was jam-packed with a lot of sightseeing because world world renowned spot here like and there's a reason for it it's beautiful we're just gonna pack up hit the road because tomorrow morning the north calls so the boys took off a little earlier i wanted a few minutes to relax a bit and uh so i'm heading into the town of jasper now though i'll meet up with them there and uh these roads are really fun to drive lots of twists and turns and beautiful clear sky mountain peaks and ranges We are entering Edmonton. It is now time to get some oil and a filter and then off to put the new tires on. We're here in Jeremy's garage and we're gonna be taking the two wheels off both bikes so we can swap out the tires, do an oil change. We've already got the back one off. As you can see here, it's kind of hovering. And now we're gonna take off the front one. I've never done a front tire before, so how hard can it be? Well, I've already taken off the speed sensor and I've already loosened off the uh, axle locks. So now we're going to loosen these up. Okay, I'd like to introduce you to Carver the hover bike. It looks like it's like completely torn to pieces, but it's just the two tires. We're going to take these tires and uh, get them swapped out do an oil change and we're gonna be good and ready for the morning to see some stuff other than pave, I guess. We are back in the garage installing the tires. KTM's got the new Shinko 705s for those of you who care about tire brands. Couple hiccups, which is to be expected when doing something for the first time on new machines. As you can see outside, we're now working into the night. It's not too late, but it's getting close to 10 o'clock. So we're probably a couple hours later than we had hoped to be. But uh, the important thing is that the wheels stay on the bikes while we're driving them. So we'll take our time to do it right. We ended up getting tires changed last night. I got spoiled last night because I was able to spend the night in this camper. This morning had a nice shower. Uh, last night we washed all the clothes we had so we're back to everything being fresh and clean We are gonna go get the bikes and leave this morning and they <laughs> look so good with those tires and uh, We're pumped to get going. Oh I don't have my pen with me, but we did make it to Edmonton, which was not very far only about three three or four hundred kilometers yesterday Today we're hoping to get to Dawson Creek, which will put us into the BC border Hopefully we make some good time today weather looks good. So time to go get the bikes we're back here at the garage. Just look at those tires. This thing now looks like it was meant to go where it's going. All fully loaded, ready to go. Gonna go gassed up and northward bound. We just left the garage. Got the new tires installed, first ride on them. They feel good, a little rougher than the other ones, but that's to be expected with an off-road style tire. I am super happy to announce that my wobble is gone completely. I'm about half an hour or so outside of Halifax and I've noticed that my bike has picked up a little bit of a wobble, kind of a low speed wobble when I'm driving. If I'm not holding the handlebars really hard. Which indicates that the problem was a faulty tire. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. We are currently 100 kilometers outside of Edmonton on our way towards Grand Prairie. The current weather temperature is 24.5 degrees. 
our cruising velocity will be around 112 to 116 kilometers per hour. We expect to arrive at Grand Prairie within the next three to three and a half hours. There will not be much to look at on the route between the two places, so just sit back and relax, and before you know it, we'll be in Grand Prairie. So we did make it to Grand Prairie. Had some lunch at Subway. We're all feeling pretty good about getting to Dawson's Creek. 150 clicks, last leg of the journey. The sun's going down in front of us. We are going to gain an hour. So this is the fourth time zone that we've traveled across now on this trip. So we'll be four hours in the difference from our home base in Atlantic Canada. You know, every once in a while you see something that's going to make you pull over for a minute. That is one big beaver. <laughs> We're just buzzing along the highway over here and uh, without even hardly realizing it, we're in British Columbia. We got about 37 kilometers to Dawson Creek. Sun's going down, but we just gained an hour. We're now on the Alaska Highway. Not headed to Alaska, but we'll be on this highway for a while, I think all the way to Yukon. We are in Dawson's Creek right now. I guess we need to make another supply stop and then the campground. We are here, campground in Dawson Creek. Decided to set up a tent site first, then we're gonna go get a few supplies. It's a nice spot. Tomorrow is gonna be coming fast, so I better get to work. 12th night or 13th night or 11th night, I, I was starting to lose track. I'm getting pretty efficient at setting up the system. Tonight I'm gonna leave the uh, flaps open here, so I've got kind of an open air circulation. I'm hoping that the sky up there gets really starry and I can kind of do some stargazing inside the tent. 